start off using it, uh, we have to go to ebsynth.com uh, to download the actual program. It's for free right now. And uh, I also prepared a, a file with a video and some frames to use with your first project. Uh, when you go to ebsyn.com, it's really simple. You can just download it for Mac or Windows. Uh, and they also have a FAQ at the bottom so you can uh, see the basic questions. But let's just start with making our first EVSynth project. So, whatever we want to do. Um, let's first uh, organize our files. So, put everything in a folder. Uh, you probably have the... If you download EVSynth, you will get this zip. You just unpack it. Uh, it comes with the X, a sample project, and uh, the tutorial things, but we don't really need it right now, but you could use it, of course. Uh, I also included the workshop fit in one file. If you extract it, you get a video and frames of the video. So what we want to do right now is um, we want to render the video to frames. So um, if you don't want to do this, I already rendered um, the frames for you. Uh, but let's see, so we have a video Ask of me you know. showing a bear. Um, I rendered this video into frames. So um, it took like 10 seconds, so we have 72 frames right here. Um, if you want to know how to render them to frames, I can show you real quick. You open up an editing program like Sony Vegas. You drop in the video. Oh. Sure, sure, sure. I say render as. And then I get this render screen. And then there should be a image sequence. And then we can choose whatever image uh, type we want. So I want the JPEG. I set the file to what I want. I want it to be my ebsynth folder. A new folder, uh, frames. And I set the name to zero. That's fine because then it will create a, s in a sequence from zero upwards. Uh, press render, and now it will render out the video into frames. Close, that's fine. I don't need it anymore. Okay, um, well, I accidentally didn't put it into the frames folder, but that's fine, they're all here right now. Just copy them over. Okay, so that's step one done. These are all the frames of our video. Now we have to pick a specific frame that we want to draw over. Uh, when picking a frame it's important that we pick a frame with the most available information on there. So we, when it's, uh, we are, when we're watching a person we usually want to have a picture which has an open mouth and open eyes because if the eyes and the mouth are closed we don't have the information of what's behind there. So we need that to function, so we can just go through the pictures. Oh, yeah. I think... Something like this would be fine. 25. So um, now we have to animate one of these frames. So I think 25 is a great candidate. Um, I take 25 over here and I open it up in Photoshop. Now we have to make this one into. Uh, now we have to make it into something that we want uh, to use as an animation. We can easily make an example by just drawing a few crude lines. So I want some black out drawings, the beard, the head, <laughs> the eyes, mouth, yeah, this might be a little bit too crude, but uh, we'll see. And the f 
fast. Do do do. do. The hand. The beer. The other hand. The fast again. And here and here. Lost bits. Uh, so that's fine. Now we just insert some color. So I want to. Uh, okay. Let's make the fast yellow. So why not? And the hat was already yellow, so we picked something else. So we have a red hat, we have a red beer. Now we pick some skin color, blue for example. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, but why not? Uh, now we have to pick a different type of blue for the mouth for example, and the nose. And we yeah, need some color for the beard. Could be uh, another type of blue. Okay. And the shirt I'm wearing should also have a color. I'm wearing yellow, so something orange maybe. Like this. Okay. Now, if we want to green screen out the background, that could also easily be done. So we can just pick some green color and just place it over the background. Easy as that. Uh, now, the important part is we have to save this uh, frame with the same name as uh, the frame had before, but don't save it over the actual frame itself, so put it in the main folder. Okay, save the frame. So, now we have this folder and we have our drawn frame right here. It's not amazing, but it will do. So where we've done these steps and uh, we're now going to animate these frames. Uh, no, we actually drawn these frames, so we're now going to set up EBSynth. So I can just open up EBSynth, it's right here. And now we want the keyframes and the video frames. So what I can do is I go into the frames and I drag one of them into the video. It will defaultly select frames and now I go back and I take let me just minimize this I take my frame that I just drawn and I put that in the keyframes uh, now it automatically detected that uh, my drawn frame was keyframe 25 because I kept the naming the same and it's it sees that we have 70 frames in total so now we can it, it has done everything we need to do for us right here Now we can start synthing the regions. So we've made one frame and we've done one thing, so we can just click uh, synth right here and start the process. But if we want to do multiple frames, we can just add one by clicking the plus right here and then add multiple frames in the sequence. So let's just synth this one. Okay, so it's done rendering. Um, it should have made a new folder. Yeah, so if I open my folder where we worked, it's uh, it, the output says uh, out25, the name of frame is right here, and it's put all our rendered frames in this folder. So we can see it right here. Uh, it's edited all 70 frames with our styling. Um, now that we have this, uh, we want to render these frames back to a video of course because that's what we are trying to create. Well what we can do is we take Sony Vegas again and we select file and we do open and we go into our uh, rendered frames. We select the first one and then we click open as a sequence so it registers that um, this is actually a video uh, made from loose photos. So we open it uh, we can set the settings, the frame rate, so how many of these pictures are in one second. 
uh, so we should check what our original video was but I think these are all fine settings so right here is our created video so if we now play this back you can see let me just enlarge it for a little bit How, what it looks like so we can actually see that it has some weird um, shape changes in some places but overall it it tracks pretty well um, yeah so now we have a video um, yeah of course this video doesn't have sound yet so uh, what you want to do is basically just take the original video so I have the video here right here put it under there uh, now we can see that it just doesn't quite have the same length so I'll just stretch this video out Act Mura. So now we have the video with sound and it's ready to go. So uh, to conclude, just go try this yourself, use these steps and uh, yeah, if you make something cool, show me what you got, send a tweet to me and uh, thank you for uh, watching.